it's close, I step right up. Here, I sit on them. Get up. Squeeze the knees. If you don't like the leg and it's not working, I come in here, I grab my thigh, my arm, we we'll just shove it right through. Pull everything. Fall down like towards my knee and my shin. Throw this arm back behind. Here. Again, I'm not kicking him up and over. I'm just sitting him to his butt. Notice that this leg stays up and out of the way as so we get here. I'm not trying to put him all the way down like this either. This is where if he starts moving, he'll get his head out and unwind the thing, okay? I'm actually trying to prop him up. So you gotta keep him up like this. Now when he tries to unwind his head, it's harder for him to do. He's in the got tighter. Yeah, it actually got a little tighter. Here, I lock my leg, doesn't really matter which one. You lock because I don't want him to get smart, push my leg in between his legs. Right, like that. It's not that I can't finish, it just makes it more difficult. So again, when I get over here, I lock just so it's harder for him to escape. I'm pulling at the leg and I'm pulling here. I can even take my arm. I like to just lock it right over to my thigh, my own wrist, and then pull from there. So I have both butterfly hooks in here, using the push against them, right? So I had the person posture like this, shallow overhook. Again, I'm gonna kick him on an angle this way. And I'm not lifting him up, I'm just shoving this way to sit myself up, okay? So I shove myself this way. Right here, I put my hand back behind me like I was going to stand up. This hand clubbed right across his neck. Okay? Make sense? Club. I'm going to just kick my legs all the way out. See how I fed his head down and around. Now, if you watch my hand, my hand's just in a circle. So as my body comes on top of his back and circles, my hand goes right into the grip. And then I step up. Up a little bit. This snaps him down as I fall back and I start to turn. So he's lifting his head and as his head lifts, there's my thumb in the grip. Okay? See how we never saw it coming, right Nick? Never saw it coming. It's sneaky. Look, my foot's here. It's loaded. Step close. Up. And over. Over him in. <laughs> Sit him up. Post. So if he does drive back into me, he's running into a little bit more of a wall. I can always stand up. Here, switch the arm. Remember, I had this. I'm just chopping, hands open, right across the back of the neck. Again, I'm not going to stand up. I'm not going to like hip heist and come way up like this. I don't need to. I literally just throw my legs back kind of where my hand is. And I'm just kind of scooping him forward a little bit. I know, it's my hand starting to rotate down towards his face. From here, I put my shoulder right on his back. Some downward pressure. So as he's trying to pull shut, he rotates right into the move. Here, okay? And I set myself up, and I finish like that. So let's do it from this angle too, just so everybody can see all the angles. You good? This is the chaining of everything together, right here. Grab the head, shallow overhook, kick, and switch your hands. Throw your legs back. Don't get too caught up in like doing it proper. It's just see his head kind of hit the mat. He had to catch himself. His hands are on the ground. I put my shoulder weight right on him. Now he's like, why is he pushing down on me? So he starts to lift. There's the grip, the step. finish.